The site that they chose for the original building was right in the heart of Brooklyn Heights. And they built the first Brooklyn Academy of Music. They wanted to have this sort of cultural destination that presented art with a capital A, and that meant music at that time. So there was to have been no dance, there was to have been no theater, there was to have been classical music. But very soon after that, that first decision to only present classical music, there was stuff that was coming out in the Brooklyn Eagle and other local papers at the time saying, how dare the Lowe's and the Pierponts be the arbiters of taste. It was a lovely idea to have this place where Brooklyn's 100 could gather, but the theater was much bigger than 100 seats. They needed to fill it with some less special people. By 1862, which is the second year Shakespeare is presented. She wished she had not heard it, yet she wished that heaven had made her such a man. Of course you have people like Edwin Booth here very early on. Sarah Bernhardt. Uh, Eleanor Duza, all of the major figures uh, of the day appeared at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. Who am I in this? Little blessed, little blessed. 